The stability of a fat and how it handles cooking is actually more important than whether it's saturated or not and its overall potential effect on your cholesterol. Why do I say cholesterol in air quotes? Simply because most people think cholesterol is this terrible thing. But I label it as cholesterol because quite honestly, that's sort of the negative connotation we have. We hear the word or see the word cholesterol and we think it's terrible. But I wanna break down in this video why the stability of fats is more important than the cholesterol factor when it comes down to choosing the fats that you use. So I've talked about the stability of fats before, but in this case, I wanna talk about how it weighs in when we talk about stability versus saturation. Okay, so first off, when we look at a fat, its stability just means how easy it is for that fat to become what is called oxidized or become rancid. So when we're looking at a fat, it has the ability to go rancid by being exposed to air. But this also happens within our body or it happens whenever we cook. So there's a couple of different kinds of fats that we have to look at. And what we do not want these fats to do is turn into what are called aldehydes or we don't want them to go through what is called lipid peroxidation. That is where fats get exposed to air and turn foul, okay? So if you've ever left a fish oil pill out or you've ever left any kind of like fish on the table or anything like that, and you allowed it to react with oxygen, that's why it starts to smell and that's why it goes bad. It's becoming rancid. That rancidity is an effect of oxidation. This happens inside your body too and it increases free radicals in your body. Here's the problem with free radicals. Marketing has ruined how dangerous they really are because every single company and every single supplement out there talks about how it fights free radicals. Okay, but the reality is free radicals are exceptionally toxic within the body and they come from a lot of other things than just the bad toxins that are out in the air that we breathe. A lot of times we create them just by cooking. So let's talk about how these break down. The first ones I wanna talk about are polyunsaturated fats. Okay, polyunsaturated fats mean that they have multiple areas where they can become affected by oxygen. That poly indicates that they have multiple areas that can be exposed. Poly meaning many, okay? These are the things like the corn oils, okay? Corn oils are very, very unstable. Then we also have the flax. Then we also have the fish oils. But here's the thing. They're not necessarily bad just because they're polyunsaturated. All it means is that they have multiple touch points to become oxidized. So when you take any kind of fat that is a polyunsaturated and you heat it, it's going to become rancid. You should never cook in corn oil. You should never cook in flax oil. And I hope you don't cook in fish oil because that's kind of weird and would be very, very expensive. But the point is when you cook in those and you heat them, you're making them very rancid. So then when you consume them, even if they're a healthy oil, they have now become unhealthy because of the inflammation and because of the free radicals that they create. And I'll touch on that in a second, how it links to cholesterol. Then the next unsafe batch is gonna be the monounsaturated. We're talking about the olive oils, okay? Olive oil, although a very, very healthy fat and can do a lot of amazing things for your body, it is still pretty darn fragile. You don't wanna be cooking with olive oil. And again, I know I've talked about this in other videos before, but I want you to hear me out because I wanna explain how it intersects with the overall cholesterol levels in our body too. Now additionally, these monounsaturated fats include things like canola oil, which most restaurants cook in. You should not be cooking in canola oil. It's very unstable, okay? Then we get to the saturated fats. This is the part that I really wanna focus on. Saturated fats have multiple hydrogen bonds that are packed very, very tightly together. They're actually very secure. So when we look at butter, when we look at ghee, when we look at coconut oil, when we look at palm oil, those things are actually very, very stable to cook in, okay? They are bound tightly together which means the oxygen cannot find a way to get into the little crevices of that fat, making it very, very stable and good for cooking. So now we have to talk about the cholesterol for a second, okay? Most people think these saturated fats are gonna to contribute to arterial plaque, but the reality is, and I've talked about this in another video, is it's not the cholesterol, it's not the saturated fats that cause the problems. It is the free radicals reacting with those fats. You see, oxidized cholesterol, like I've talked about before, is the real problem. And that is where free radicals react with the cholesterol that is already in the body. So when LDL, the bad cholesterol, goes around and it does its job within the body and it reacts with free radicals, it becomes swollen and inflamed. And that's what causes the problem and causes the swelling or the blockage in the artery. So when you think about it, we have to weigh the pros and cons. Do we have the saturated fats that are a lot more stable and don't produce the free radicals, or do we have the polyunsaturateds and we cook with those, which create lots of free radicals in the body, which can go around and affect all the other cholesterols that we consume? So in my opinion, it's a lot safer to be consuming the saturated fats in moderation and cook with those 
than it is to be cooking with the things like olive oil, corn oil, canola oil, etc. Because otherwise, you're increasing those free radicals. So remember, it's a lot less about the cholesterol, a lot less about the saturation, and a lot less about what you think it is based on what the mainstream media is telling you, and it's a lot more about the stability of that fat. So cook in your saturated fats and keep it safe. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel, and I will see you in the next video.